Hey everyone, it's me. Welcome back to my channel. So glad to have you here. Today is going to be a rather short video. It is no school for my boys. There's a teacher's conference going on, so it's only the teachers going to school today. And so I have all of them here. We have a list of things to do today. In fact, I have one kid practicing piano right now, one kid putting away laundry right now, and one kid looking at a book catalog uh, one of the scholastic, you know, school ones to see if there's anything he wants to order. We're about to head to the gym and who knows, my dog's outside barking, crazy central today. <laughs> Lots to get done. Um, I had a sick kid over the weekend. Uh, he's much better today, was better all day yesterday. So I think we're good to go. But oh, I've been doing so much cleaning in my craft room. Saturday, I did a ton. I uh, can't wait to show you like my work area and my work desk. I'm not going to do it today, but I hope to be able to do that tomorrow if everything goes smoothly. Make sure you're subscribed. You give this video a thumbs up and come on back tomorrow because I'll have a lot more to show you tomorrow. Today, I do have two journals to show you that I finished over the weekend and I thought I'd flip through them and list them in my shop and see if anybody gets inspired by them. All right, so here's the journals. After I gave you a little twirl there, um, I have two of them. This one, you may have seen the cover last week because I was showing you that I started it, but I finished it out. And the my inspiration for this journal was this color blue here, this cardstock. It's a nice heavy cardstock. However, it's just an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. And I really don't like trimming all of my inside pages just by a little bit. So I extended it slightly with some hand dyed paper and made a beautiful little uh, torn border. It's all stitched with purple thread. It has a sari silk closure and vintage it's lined with vintage book paper and then this is from my porch prints it's her shabby blue ephemera i believe is what it's called it's the second time i printed it out to use i love this one i need to get it in the other colors um but this is the image i chose for the front i wanted to keep it very simple um and the whole journal is relatively simple so i finally got to use uh, this piece of happy mail I don't even remember where I got it. It is so beautiful. As I've been cleaning, I've been finding pieces, and this just had to go here. Um, the only change is I love to make little changes sometimes to ephemera that people send me just to add my own touch. I added this little um, four projects, which I had cut out of a vintage sewing book, and then I did a little bit of um, blue inking on the textured part here. We have scrapbook paper. Lonnie had sent me um, some scrapbook paper, and this is was my second inspiration. So after this, I used some of the paper she sent me throughout. I have my grungy flowers. I don't even remember what I call these, <laughs> but I, that this is hand dyed. More of the paper Lonnie sent me. Some ephemera. This is from Modern Maiden Collection. Definitely search that in my shop. Check that out. Here we have a little flip with a frog sticker under that fabric flip. This is blue copy paper. Vintage bird book page and lined pages. Fussy cuts, more paper. This is from, you know, you can kind of tell. It's all from the same paper pack that she sent me. Hand dyed papers and digitals from my shop. My mom coffee dyed this paper for me and I for me and I used the Tim Holtz tiny attacher. Made this little banner. Some stationery paper. With the stenciling, I used my new little blending stencils I showed you last week, and I'll show you again tomorrow when I show you my new setup for my craft area. But I did blue for the flowers and then green for the stems. It went beautiful with this. Again, more paper from Lonnie. More from Modern Maiden, hand dyed. Joanne made this little wrapped dangle. It's a paper clip that's wrapped with lace and twine. I'm pretty sure it was from Joanne. Um, and then I added a little inked blue flower on it. Just hung it off of that six by six paper there. More coffee dyed paper that my mom did for me. Here's a little tag in a pocket. I did fabric. This is kind of a stiffer uh, fabric did a fabric page more paper from Lonnie this is my forever blue paper pack vintage science book page 
Um, I think this is for Modern Maiden. I don't actually remember. We have a Project Life card and a playing card. Little bits. This is all hand dyed. I did this. This came out super pretty with some of the new colors I've been making and playing with. I have a little um, bag that I got in Happy Mail. Added a little word. Made a little bookmark. And this is from My Porch Prints. It's one of Joanne's labels. Hand dyed paper with a little enjoy stamp. This is Forever Blue. And now we're coming to the second half of everything. The little bronze butterfly. I made, I like to take these long note sheets, if they're too long for a page, to flip them up and make a little pocket. This is from Christy Art Design. And then I actually made this stencil. I'm working on, um, somebody asked me if I consider making stencils for my shop. Um, it's going to be a long process because I don't have a lot of time to put into it, but I was playing around with it. And this is from an old book on decorating and painting. And it was, um, well, there were letters and numbers, but it didn't all work out quite well. So I just cut this part out of it. And you can see it's a really neat font. It's from 1913. I'll keep playing around with the entire stencil to see if I can get it to work. This is a little flip up. So it's hand dyed paper embossed and inked with a little memories stamp and some vintage paper. Had a little wallpaper pocket here. This is from Dreamy Designs Collection. Definitely check out that in my shop as well. You just have to search it, Dreamy Designs. It pops right up. You can read all about it. Just cute little ephemera pieces. Lots of blues, another hand-dyed and stenciled pocket. More wallpaper and then ephemera from My Porch Prints. Added some washi tape to this page. And that's that one. So this one is blue, and then the other one is called Brand New Day. This one has a little more work into it, especially the cover. Um, I made my own cardstock cover from book pages. It was the rest of the pages from this book. I've talked about it many times on my channel, Living in a Wild Garden. And you can see here... Um, the way that I arranged the pages, you can see that. These are a nice heavy book page, or a decently heavy book page. And so I layered them up, and you can see the layering. I'll show you in a second. We have Sorry Silk Closure, and then I just put a little bulb pin with a wooden butterfly. Lonnie sent me these, and a blue button. That's on the closure. And then here is, let me see if I can carefully open it up so you can see. It's uh, multiple layers of book page. You can see where I left a lot of the edges and stuff because that was really neat. I have ivy stamping. Um, I have stenciling. And then this is a stencil that I cut out from my machine. And then some wallpaper butterfly die cuts. On the front here, there's this cute little bunny. It says a brand new day. Um, this is from... I believe this is from my March Image Club from last year. There's no way to get this. This was exclusive. So if you don't have it, you don't have it. If you have it, that's where it is. And then I stitched on and glued on these little die cut wildflowers. Um, just from some die cuts. And then so the pages were inspired by um, Paulette over at TLC Creates Vintage. Um, she actually offers hers through Facebook. So I would search that. I can't remember the name of the group, but I think if you would search TLC Creates Vintage, it'll pop up. But um, she has a January image club this year. Um, and in order to get into it, you have to make a purchase. And I love her stuff anyway. Um, so I purchased this paper pack and I used a few of them in here. It had 22 pages. It was so beautiful. Um, this was from one of my image clubs and got a little tag. Then just some wallpaper. This was, I don't remember what Etsy shop that was from. The little playing card. This has an interesting story. So I was trying to die cut this thicker paper so that I could use it as a stencil. Well, the die cut didn't go all the way through and I didn't want to keep messing with the sandwich. So I actually just left it because it's really pretty. And then I inked over it and I stitched it onto cardstock and made a pretty journal card out of it. So that worked. We have rose paper, ledger paper. This is from TLC. 
Um, and then a lot of these were from my March Image Club that you can't get. It was exclusive, like I said. This is Nature Image Club, I think. I don't remember. Uh, this is an old vintage book page from 1985. It was one of my grandma's paint books. Um, she did toll painting. My mom did as well. So this was in the 80s when I was little. Actually, that was the year I was born, but they I remember them painting when I was little. You can hear my boys are really loud in the background, but they're having fun. So we have different prints. I'm not going to mention where they're all from because I just printed them. I got this paper in Happy Mail and then I just stenciled it. I have a little flip up book page here. Um, I'm not going to mention where I got all of the different ones if I can't remember it right off because I don't want to be hemming and hawing. And I, I printed from a whole bunch of different places to make this journal. Got a cute little bow peep card there. This is Dreamy Designs collection. Got a cute little bag. Joanne sent me these with a My Porch Prince ephemera. More, that's the TLC. Library card. More TLC. The other side of the bag has Sing a Happy Little Song. Got a little tag clipped on there. Those are the negatives of the butterflies on the front uh, and back of this um, journal. I get distracted when they're loud out there. I'm trying to make sure they're not mad at each other. So I made a little, this is a hand dyed paper using a spray and a stencil. It is a pouch. And then I've added an image and some washi tape. You can stuff that. Little fussy cut. This was fun. Um, I was inspired by Gail Agostinelli on YouTube. Um, this is just cut out from a 12 by 12 paper. It is a belly band, but I used my art glitter glue and I added glitter. She had a, a video recently about using and playing with glitter. And so I love how that came out. And the art glitter glue dries so quickly. So this was time efficient too. And it's really pretty. It gives that extra touch. Got a little top loading, some vintage stationery. This is from Creative Fabrica, one of their, on their site. Wallpaper. And so that is that one. These are both available. And I hope that you will check out um, my digitals. And the, the probably the best way to get access to the majority of my digitals is to just buy the Ultimate Lifetime Collection. It is for sale on the front of my homepage just you'll see it as you're shopping and definitely worth it because I think all of the digitals in here that were mine are in there except for like the March Image Club and those were exclusive but anyway there are so many in there and we keep adding more so definitely worth that hope you enjoyed this give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll see all of you tomorrow it should be a little more sane because they'll be in school um, and we'll get to spend a little bit more time together